He said, I so need an encounter with God. He led all of his people with his servants, his livestock, his wives, his children, everybody. He led them down to the Jabbok River. And the Bible says in the evening, he sent all of them across the river. He said, get over to the other side. All my animals, all my children, all my, everybody in the, and leave me here alone. Because when it was time for him to get an encounter with God, he cut, he cut the iPad off and turned the television off and turned the laptop off and turned the iPhone off. Don't clip this and put this on YouTube and tell me I don't understand history. There were no iPads in the Old Testament, but I'm making it personal to you. He got every time waster out of his life. He put everything off and he laid there alone. And the Bible says, and when he was alone... God showed up to wrestle with Jacob and they wrestled through the night. You know why? Because there were no Netflix videos to binge. There was no YouTube to keep on scrolling. There was no TikTok video to waste his time. But he wrestled with God through the night. There was no Xbox or PlayStation 5. But he wrestled with God through the night. And the Bible said that the sun was coming up. And he said, you got to let me go. He said, no, I will not let you go until you bless me people that hear the word of the Lord and believe it they say I will not I gotta say this tonight he was holding on to the actual power of God but tonight can I tell you something you're holding on to the actual power of God you are holding on to the actual power of God somebody needs to grab your Bible and hold it in your hands and look at it and say I will not let you go until you bless me I will not let you go until you bless me Oh! See, people get all weird when I say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. The book, the book you hold in your hand, this Bible, is as much God as the individual seated on the throne. People will jump in the comments and say, oh, you're just, that's bibliolatry. You're worshiping the Bible. I don't understand why you would not worship the Word of God. He is His Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. When God wanted to redeem the world, what did he do? He put his word in a physical body and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and he was full of grace and truth. This word is as much God as the individual seated on the throne. That's why when you speak the word, things have to change. When you speak the word, cancer cells have to die. When you speak the word, eyes have to come open. Ears have to come open. Drug addiction comes to an end. When you speak the word, depression has to go. Anxiety has to go. Panic attacks, suicidal thoughts have to go. Because he is his word. Somebody shout, he is his word. Oh, he's his word. That's why his word can't return void. Why? Because what demon's going to look at the word in the face and tell it no? Who does the devil think he's talking to? This word is so powerful, it cannot fail. I said it cannot fail. It cannot fail. Do you know how many men and women over the years have tried to wipe the Bible off the face of the earth? Do you know how many generations tried to burn Bibles and to keep the word of God? But what did Jesus say? He said, heaven and earth may pass away, but my word will never pass away. You can't cause the Bible. You can't cause the word of God to pass away. You can't destroy this word. You can't get some AI language learning model to corrupt the Bible enough to keep the word of God off the earth. I came to encourage you tonight that this word is forever. This word is eternal. I won't let you go till you bless me. 